Hi guys! Welcome back to Bubble Round channel. Thank you for joining us today. Before we start, I just want to give you a recap of what we did in our previous episode, which took half of our day 2 in the Northern Island. Then I'm going to tell you what's going to happen in this episode. So we wanted to try Aer Lingus's newly opened route that flies between Southampton Airport and Belfast City Airport. Then the security staff conducted a very thorough search in my carry-on, causing us to stand around for ages, and eventually we were discharged, went straight to the gate, boarded the aircraft, we took off and landed in Belfast. We hired a car, checked in and stayed for a night at Stormont Hotel where a random fire alarm went off at 3am and the next morning we woke up, got ready, grabbed an orange iron duck, checked out and had a delicious breakfast at St. George's Market. Made a short tour around the city before heading off to the Causeway Coaster route. And that was basically it for our previous episode. If you haven't seen the full video, please make sure to check that out. We drove off from Belfast city centre at around 11 o'clock. There are loads and loads of things to do and places to visit along the very scenic Causeway Coaster route. The distance from Belfast to the top bit is 75 and a half miles. The approximate travelling time is 2 hours 38 minutes if we go straight up. But since we're gonna stop and visit as many landmarks as we could, Given the days are quite long during the summer, it left us with 8 hours in which we managed to visit 8 scenic places, starting from the closest attraction we thought worth doing first, the Gobbins Cliff Path. I was really interested in doing the 2.5 hour Gobbins Cliff Path walk in Island McGee because it is a good place for spotting the puffins. It should be very scenic, lots of volcanic rock formations, and it would be an adventurous activity since the path is built hugging the cliff face through a few caves with some fun bridges to cross along the way, but unfortunately we did not have a chance to do that because it was fully booked. We even went to the visitor center to take our chance and see if there'd be any cancellation, but we had waited on the waiting list all day and unfortunately there were none. So if you're interested, you might have to book quite a bit in advance and I wish you good luck. You can follow the link in the description for more information. So after we realized that we had no luck on the gobbins, we continued to drive along the coastal route and stopped at Glenarm. Then we have Carnlough. Waterfoot, Cushendal, Cushendun, Torhead, and then we're gonna end our fully stuffed day at our lovely accommodation, which is the Magurna Har House B&B. So it would be best to split this experience into two episodes, otherwise it would be a very long video. So let's get started, shall we? unofficial stops along the way just to look at the views and enjoy the coastline. And this is the car park by the coast in Carnfanach, which is around an hour from Belfast. It's about time for lunch now, so in a minute we will move on to Glenarm. It'll only take us 15 minutes to get there, so we'll see what they'll have for us. And then we're gonna drive past a very stunning hill in Bali Galley. Hiking as well as golfing is also possible on Bali Galley Hill. There is a very scenic golf course, which if you have time, you can totally enjoy the views whilst golfing on such an amazing looking hill, which we can easily admire from the road. Right, so now we are in Glenarm, which is kind of the first real stop since we took off from Belfast and didn't quite make it to the Gobbins Cliff Path, so let's go and check it out. Glenarm 
is obviously an old village and also a home to one of the oldest estates, a very beautiful 13th century castle. There are a number of things you can do here in Glenarm, such as visiting the castle, have a walk in their beautiful gardens and you might spot lovely wildlife such as red squirrel and a few rescued hedgehogs. So if you're interested, you can check out the link in the description for more information. Other than Glenarm Castle, you can look at their beautiful harbour, take a walk along the Glenarm River to the mill, take a walk in Glenarm Forest or at the Straight Killy Nature Reserve. There are quite a few walks you can do here actually, so please visit Glenarm Tourism link in the description to check that out. We are starving now, but it looks as though everything is closed here and we don't want to eat from the food truck at the car park, so we're gonna try Glenarm Castle to see if there's anything interesting for us. We just quickly popped into the tea room at Glenarm Castle for lunch, which is very delicious. Other than this cafe, there's the milk parlor that serves ice cream and pizza pavilion for just pizza or you can have an afternoon tea at the castle for an even more authentic feel. Right, so we have arrived at our next stop, Karnloff. I apologize if that's not how it should sound, but anyway. There are plenty of things you can do here in this beautiful village including Cranny Falls, Danganil Way Trail, Garen Point and Karnloff Harbour which is coming up next. Their attractions is the stony staircase that lead into the water at Karnlov Harbor. This particular staircase may seem familiar to many Game of Thrones fans because this famous staircase is one that Arya Stark crawled upon after getting stabbed in season 6. But since it's a small place, and as you can see that the staircase is pretty crowded at the moment, so sorry for not taking a proper photo of it. Picturesque harbour is located by the foothill of one of the nine glens of Antrim called Glencoy. Which, if I'm not wrong, Glen should mean valley, and glens of Antrim is the valleys in Antrim County. The nine glens of Antrim are made up an area of natural beauty along the stretch of Causeway Coastal Route, which is basically what we're doing in this episode. There's also a bay boat tour at Karnloff Harbour offering another interesting way to admire the place. As usual, I also put the link about the Glens of Antrim in the description in case you're interested. And that's about it for Karn Love. Now let's move on to our next stop, Waterfoot. Waterfoot or Glenariff is a village located in the largest glen of Antrim. Waterfoot Beach stretches approximately one kilometer long. It 
is one of the most visited glens due to its outstanding landscape. There is a 3 km circuit that could potentially be very scenic starting from the village, following the Narek River and glens to the stunning waterfalls. You can check out Visit Causeway Coast and Glen.com, link in the description for more information. The tide is rising and our little causeway is now about to disappear. So I guess we'll have to walk on our tiptoes back towards the car park now because it's starting to cloud over and we want to make sure we can complete the rest of the places on the list. Now, I don't want to make this video seem endless, so I'm going to end this video right here and we'll continue our journey in the next episode. So please let me know what you think about my video in the comment section. Like and share if you like it. And also please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell button if you haven't already. In the next video, we will have Cushion Doll, Cushion Dunn, and finally, Tor Head. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Bye now.